Yes, ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. John 14, 12 through 14. Amen. Amen. We're just going to talk for just a little while from just the subject, believe. Amen. Amen. Believe. Y'all know we have been doing an in-depth study, in-depth teaching, um, just on knowing who we are. And I told you that on Sunday mornings, we're finding out what we can do as a result of who we are in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 But on Wednesdays at Bible app, we're finding out in depth who we are. Amen. 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 And so, Father, I thank you right now that my mind, my will, nor my emotions will get in your way, God. I thank you right now, Lord, that as you speak, it will come forth and we will all be blessed by what it is that you have to say this afternoon. God, I give you praise. I ask you, Lord, to put me on the back seat. Put me on the back row, God, and you come forth and drive this vehicle, Lord, so that we all can be blessed and you can be heard. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, believe, believe. Tell your neighbor, believe. Believe. Tell somebody else, believe. 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 Another time for the Holy Spirit. Believe. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right. I'm going to ask y'all to do something for me uh, this afternoon. That might be, yeah, make sure afternoon. That's a little little strange maybe. But I'm going to start a song and I want y'all to finish it. Just, just finish what you know. All right. <coughs> oh, MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow. E-I-E-I-O. All right, stop. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Uh huh. Round and round. Uh huh. Round and round. Uh huh. The, the wheels, wheels on, on the bus, bus go round and round. Uh huh. All the time. All right. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. Uh huh. See how they run. Uh huh. They all. Uh huh. We're gonna stop that part. Cut off the tails. All right. So, <laughs> so let me ask you a question. When did you learn all these? As a child. You learned all of them as a child. Well, how is it? That you still remember it after so many years. Somebody help me out this afternoon. How is it that you still remember that? Because most of us learned that in preschool. Some of us learned it at home before we even went to school. So let me just share with some who may not know. It's because it's in your subconscious yes. uh -huh. Come on, right? yeah. Come on. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Y'all do know there are two of them. You got your that's, conscious that's mind right. That's right. and your subconscious yeah. mind. Yeah. That's right. your, your conscious mind goes to sleep, uh -huh. but your subconscious mind don't never sleep. Come on. That's right. All right, okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. So how did it get there? Amen. Come on now. How did it get into your subconscious? Repetition. Yes. Somebody look at your name and say, repetition. 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 Mm -hmm. Your conscious mind, and y'all know what I'm talking about when I say this, will easily forget something. Mm -hmm. I went from one room the other day in my house to get something, and when I got to the other room, I forgot what I went in there for. Come on. I mean, just a matter of seconds. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I knew what I wanted before I left the kitchen. <laughs> but by the time I got upstairs, I couldn't remember what I went up there for. Uh -huh. So my conscious mind will easily forget something. Yes. But once something is in your subconscious, uh -huh. right. no, I'm I'm I need y'all to get this while I go any yeah. further. Yeah. But, but, but when it's in your subconscious mind, it's a wrap. Right. Come on here. Right. That's it. It's a wrap. See. Even if you try to forget mm -hmm. how to sing the songs we just sung, mm -hmm. it will be hard to do. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as you hear somebody else singing it, the words would come right back to yeah. you. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Why? Because you've heard it and you've sung it so much that it's embedded in your subconscious. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's right. Mm -hmm. And 
where is your mind? Where is our mind? Y'all come, I gotta pull up my slides. Uh, yeah, I done got attached to my slides that I created. I'll come back to those. Hold on. Right. There we go. Your mind. Right. See, see, we, we, we don't understand this, but we gotta make sure you understand this. Your mind and your brain are not the same. Come on, right. teach, teach. Teach. Come on now. Yes. Teach. Your brain, again, is that physical, tangible part that you can touch, and if you can take it out, you can see it, but you can't see your mind. Yes, right. yes, come on. Okay? And so your mind, your will, and your emotions are in your soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are, as Pastor Dean said, a spirit being that is the real part of you. That is who you are. Yeah, yeah. God said in the beginning when he created us, I'm going to create them in my image. God is a spirit. All right? Yeah. So he created us in his image, and he knew we could not function here in the earth legally, so he made us an earth suit. Yeah. I heard somebody this after this uh, past week that a uh, brother, brother, uh, trustee Lehman referred to, and he calls it a dirt suit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> calls it a dirt suit. Amen. Dirt suit. But we, yeah. but we, we live in this earth suit. Yeah. A lot of times we get confused because we think this is who we really are because we take care of it, we bathe it, we feed it, we give it what it wants. Mm -hmm. But that's not who we are. Amen. All right. So, so. Our mind is in our soul. Yes. So let me ask you something. When you hear Proverbs 23, 7, mm -hmm. as a man thinketh mm -hmm. in his heart. Come on, right? teach it. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I'm, I'm going to go back to scripture. Mm -hmm. Most people think about what? Right here. They think right here. They physical heart. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what they think. Mm -hmm. When we say stuff like, I love you with all my heart. Mm -hmm. what, what's the one thing, the first thing we think about when we say that? Our physical heart. Our physical heart. Mm -hmm. We think of the physical heart, but that's just the organ. Yes. Come on. Come on. Teach. Right, right now. Teach. Yeah, right now. That's just the organ that pumps blood through your veins. Mm -hmm. Y'all better talk to me today. Come on, right Teach. Now. In Proverbs 23, 7, heart is talking about your subconscious mind. Come on, man. All right now. Come on, teach. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. So I said all that to say this. That's why I'm repeating. Come on. Over and over yes. and over. Yes. All right now. Every Sunday. All right. The same stuff. Come on. Until it affects and sets into your subconscious yes. mind. All right. Come on. Yes. 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 Because we have the kingdom of God, hear me now, in our spirit. Because what I tell you, whenever you give your life to Christ, what part of you is reborn? Your spirit. That's right. The Holy Spirit comes into your spirit man, and that is the part of you that is reborn. So let me say it to you this way, all right? We have the kingdom of God in our spirit because it's born again, but until the kingdom of God principles affect our minds, we won't see what Jesus said we can see out here in the physical. I need y'all to talk to me today. Lord Jesus, I need y'all to talk to me today. Amen, amen, amen. So I, I posted this post this morning. You can be anointed all day long. Because when I teach y'all in the Bible, when the Holy Spirit comes to you and you are born again, we keep saying, God, I want some anointing. God, I want more anointing. God, increase my anointing. You already got all the anointing you're going to have in you if you're born again. But what gets in the way is that soul. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That mind. Mm -hmm. You trying to walk in your will instead of God's will. Yeah. And the emotions Ooh. that get you in trouble. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. <laughs> so we can walk around here all day long anointed as anointed can be. That's it. And not have any power against the enemy because Ooh. our mind is not renewed. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. Yeah. Is not real. That's why he says, "Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, mind. Uh -huh. yes. Mm, yes. which is contained in your soul." Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. 
He says, above all things, I wish that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul. Mm, Y'all better catch the words. Y'all better catch the words. Because we read scripture and we don't understand what we're saying. And we walk around here and quote it and don't have no clue what we're talking about. And as I told you last Sunday, the church right now, we struggle because of lack of knowledge. It's not because it's not enough out there. It's not because it's, it's in lack. It's because we don't understand what we are reading. Yes. And we don't go after it. Yes. It's out there in abundance. Yes. Man, God, I thank you. Yes. God, I thank you. So, so Jesus, if you notice, he was always after the mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Think about it. He was yes. always after the mind. Yes. He was always talking to us about the mind yes. and teaching us. Yes. Amen, the disciples. Amen. All right, so, 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 okay. Let's let's go to scripture, y'all. All right. Let's go to scripture. Oh my God, so I don't get ahead of myself. All right, so let's go back to John because that's where we were. And then we're gonna um, let's go up here. I'm gonna put it up here so everybody can look at it. What do I do with my mouse? Mm. Jesus. All right. There we go. I want all us to see the same thing. All right. I'm excited about this word, y'all. All right. So he says, "I tell you the truth." Put your name there again. We're gonna we're gonna put your name there again. Three Sundays in a row. Right. Anyone? Believe it, David. I need to hear y'all say that. Anyone? Believe it. All right, all right. <laughs> Who what believes in what me? Mm. You gotta believe in Jesus Christ. You gotta believe what the Word says about Him. Who He is. Believes in me will what? Do the what? Same, Same works. works. Oh, hey, but let's go back. No, he said a little bit of the works I did. No, 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 no. Mm, no, 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 no. He said, you know, just, just a little bit of the works that I did is what y'all going to be able to do. Mm -hmm. no. He said, same. But then he takes it up. And he says, and even what? Greater. Mm. Hey, come on here. Hey. And even greater. What do we understand about Jesus? His earth suit yes, yes. was called Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Come on here. Oh, <laughs> See, when, when God got ready to send himself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. okay. When God got ready to send himself uh -huh. Uh -huh. to save his creation, uh -huh. to save us, he knew he could not come here uh -huh. without being legal. That's right. That's right. You can't walk around here on the earth without an earth suit. Uh -huh. So whenever it came time for him to come here and save his people, come on, come on. those who hated him, uh -huh. those who just, you know, didn't love him, those who had an issue with him, those who just, you know, didn't want to have nothing to do with him, he came anyhow. Come on. Yes. <laughs> To save us, yeah, yeah. ungrateful, mm -hmm. oh Lord Jesus, uh -huh. stiff neck, oh, oh Jesus, God. he came here to save us and we didn't appreciate it. My, 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 my. But he knew he couldn't come here in spirit form. That's right. So what he did was he created a dirt suit. Uh -huh. He created a earth suit uh -huh. and told his mama, call it Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But the Bible says it was named Jesus, but yes. God was in it uh -huh. working. Uh -huh. My, my. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Lord, y'all better get this. Ooh. So as I've been telling y'all every Sunday, is God in you? Yes. Yes. Are you born again? Yes. yes. Did you give your life to Christ? Yes. yes. So who's in you? Jesus. So if, if, if Jesus is in you, Jesus and God are one and the same. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. So if God was in Jesus right. working works, then why don't we see it in our Ooh. lives in the church? Ooh. Good gracious. Good gracious. Come on. Good. Why is it whenever somebody says they're sick, the first thing we think of, mm -hmm. go to doctor? Uh, mm -hmm. First thing we think of is get a Tylenol. Yes, First thing we think of, go get an Aleve. Mm -hmm. Aleve ain't paying you no royalties or nothing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not telling nobody don't take, don't, I'm not, don't, don't quote me. I told you, don't, don't be so 
send me no messages on Facebook or nothing. All I'm saying is, is the first thought that comes to your mind. Mm. Yes. That's the controller. Mm. You gotta, we gotta understand who we are. Yes. yes. He yes. says, you will do greater works. Why? Because I am going to be with the Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus in that earth suit was limited as to where he could be on the earth at one time. But what happened was when he died and that seed went in the ground, Lord Jesus, yes, and he sir. was resurrected. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. New little baby Jesus. <laughs> Come on. All right. Now. Because all of us have him inside of us. Yes. It's yes. just a different earth suit. Yes. It's just a different gender. Uh -huh. Maybe a different color. Uh -huh. But it's still him in you working it out. Yes. Lord Jesus. Okay. All right. Let, let's go. Let's go. So he says that because I am going to be with the Father, you can ask for anything in my name. And I will do, do it. it. So that the son can bring glory to the father. Mm. Yes, ask me for anything in my name. Now, y'all know it's got a line with the word. That's right. Line with the word. If you don't know the word, how you going to know? That's right. Ooh. Come on. That's right. Come on. Ooh. How you gonna know? My, my. Mm. See, that's why I come. We as the church don't understand we can go lay hands on somebody or pray with somebody they get you. Come on. Because we're not reading the word. Yeah, that's, right. That's, right. that's right. If you don't know what's in here, how you gonna walk in it? That's right. That's right. That's right. How you gonna walk in it? My, my, my. How much time are you giving God in his word on a daily basis? Don't answer. Mm -hmm. How much time are you giving him on a daily basis? Because this tells you who you are. Yes. 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 You're walking around with a manual. Now, now listen, y'all. Go ahead. I got a saw machine at home. And I love to sew. But I'm going to just be honest with you. I love reading the word of God and anything dealing with the word of God. But I don't like reading manuals when it comes to telling me how to operate stuff. I pass it over to Pastor D. And I say, okay, can you read it for me and fix it? Then I just go back and start sewing. He don't know nothing about sewing, but he, you know, he does the mechanical part. So yesterday, I had an issue with my sewing machine. And I kept sitting there tinkering with it, trying to get it to work. And the Lord said, you got a manual right over there in the box. <laughs> Pick it up and read it so you can figure out what's going on with this sewing machine. I spent almost an hour and a half mm. just sitting there trying to figure it out without picking up the manual. My, my, my. God said, pick it up and read it so you will know what you've got in your hands. Mm. My wow. My, my, my. Mm. As soon as I did that, I learned stuff about that sewing machine I didn't even know. Wow. But it made the rest of my experience yesterday easier. Yes. That's what we got to do. We got a manual that tells us who we are, tells us what we are able to do as a result of who we are. And most Christians won't read it. Won't read it. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because you don't understand the importance or the value in it. Or maybe it's because in your subconscious mind, seed has been planted Boy. since you were old enough to understand the language. Oh, okay. And you got some stuff in your subconscious mind that you don't even realize is there, but it creeps up okay. every now and then. My, my, my. Oh, that's good. Some stuff you used to do in the past that you thought you had forgiven yourself for and moved on. But whenever you get ready to step higher in Christ, the subconscious stuff you got in there, that data, if you will, uh -huh. like a computer, it's on that hard drive. It's, it's in there. And as soon as you take a foot forward and you're trying to go forward in Christ, mm, my, my, my. that subconsciousness, uh -huh. you remember what you used to do. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So how do we purge it? How do we get rid of it? Renew your mind. Renew your mind. Uh, yes. Renew your mind. So I, I'm going to take y'all somewhere real quick. If y'all don't mind, it, it, can y'all give me just like about 10 minutes? Yes. Amen. All right. So let's go somewhere because I just need to show y'all something. Yes. I told y'all each Sunday I was going to show y'all what 
we are able to do. So let's go to Mark 521. Oh, my God. Let's go to Mark 521. Y'all suffer me, okay? I need one of them lapel mics, so I don't have to hold this one. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's go to the 21st verse. Let's go to the 21st verse. See, when we see stuff in the Bible that Jesus did, again, I keep telling y'all, we can believe he can do that for somebody else or through somebody else. But we don't stop to see or ask ourselves and be honest, can he do it through me? <clears throat> but we know he can because he just told us in John 14, anyone who believes in him will do the same works and even greater. So let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. All right, so 21, verse 21. Y'all there, Mark 5, 21? Yes, ma'am. All right, so Jesus got into the boat again and went back to the other side of the lake where a large crowd gathered around him on the shore. And then a leader of the local synagogue, whose name was Jairus, arrived. And when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet, mm -hmm. pleading, fervently, pleading, fervently with him. My little daughter is dying. Mm. And he said, please come and lay your hands on her. Heal her so she can live. Mm. Mm. And the Bible says Jesus went with him. And all the people followed, crowding around him. And a woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. And she had suffered a great deal from many doctors. Y'all keep, keep mind of that. Many doctors. Um, and over the years, she had spent everything she had to pay them. But she had gotten no better. In fact, she had gotten worse. She had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his robe. Not touched him. Come on. Touched his robe. Yes. For she thought to herself, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. Mm -hmm. Immediately, the bleeding stopped. Mm -hmm. And she could feel in her body that she had been healed of her terrible condition. Now, like I told you, anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. All right? Jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out from him. So he turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my robe? Jesus is walking through the crowd, y'all. All these people are pulling on him. All these people are touching him. Thousands of people wanting Jesus. And one person, one person out of this crowd of multitude of people believed and had enough faith that when she touched his robe, he felt power leave him. And he turns around because he felt the power leave him. And obviously she felt it too because scripture says she knew she had been healed. Uh -huh. She knew it instantly that she had been healed. And so we look at that and we're like, yeah, that was Jesus. Yeah, Jesus can heal folk. Yeah, Jesus can. But what about the shadow Come on. of Peter? My, my, my. He was an earth suit that had Jesus in it. Come on, man. We gotta get this, y'all. Come on, that's right, teach. We gotta get this. Who are you? My, my, my. Who are we? Yes, this is the earth suit, but again, who's in you? And we can't get it twisted because it ain't you doing it. Come on now, make it play. It's him doing it. Yes. But we don't step out on faith enough to allow him to do it through us. Yes. Amen. We see somebody maybe that's sick or see an issue and we know that we the Holy Spirit rises up in us and may even say go pray for them. And we'll stand right there. 
I won't do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Come on. You know why? Because we're afraid that if we go lay hands or if we go pray or go speak healing over them, nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. But you are supposed to be a vessel. Yes. yes. That God can use. And you know what? When you go pray for somebody, I, I've gotten so now when I pray for folk, I just pray for them and walk off because I believe it's done. Uh -huh. yeah, whether he does it right then in Amen. front of me Amen. or whether he does it later, yeah, yeah. that's God's business. Yeah, yeah. I'm just supposed to do what he asks us to do. Yeah. And let's lay hands and pray for those who are sick. Yes. yes. We got to stop being afraid because it ain't about you. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's about God. Yes. And the more you allow him to use you, your faith increases. Come on. Yes. Come on. Man, Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Yes. I, I just got one more, and then I'm, I'm ready to go. One more. His disciples said to him, look at this crowd, Jesus. <laughs> look at all these people walking around here. And you, you going to ask us who touched you? You gonna ask us who touched you in this crowd of people? But he kept on looking. Is God looking in your direction today? Is your faith enough to cause God to turn back and say, "Who touched me?" Come on, Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Then the frightened woman trembled at the realization of what had happened to her, came and fell to her knees in front of him and told him what she had done. And he said to her daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Yes. Mm. Your suffering is over. And this is what I'm trying to get to right here, this last part. While he was still speaking to her. Mm. 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 Well, now, now y'all remember where he was going. He got stopped by the woman with the issue of blood. But where was he going? He was going to heal this little girl, okay? So, so, so while he was still speaking to her, messengers arrived from the home of Jairus, the leader of the synagogue. They told him, your daughter is dead. How many of you know, if somebody, we were on our way to go pray for somebody, and they came, a messenger came and said, the person you can ready to go pray for is dead. How many of you know you're going to say, well, you know what? It was the Lord's will. I guess I just go on back to the house. Y'all hear me now? 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 Jesus, Lord, have mercy. This, this is what happened. This is what happened. They told him your daughter's dead. There's no use. No use. Good God. There's no use. Troubling the teacher now. Uh -huh. Good gracious of life. They did what I just told you we would have done. Uh -huh. They forgot that right. But, as Minister Willie says, better understand this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus overheard mm. the conversation. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Jesus overheard the conversation. And he heard them saying that she was dead. And he says, don't be afraid. Uh -huh. mm. my, my, my. Just have faith. Just yes. have faith. God. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. And then Jesus stopped the crowd and wouldn't let anyone go with him except for Peter, James, and John, mm. the brothers of James. Some folk, you're going to have to say, stay right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yes. you, you can't go with me where I'm going That's right now. That's right. That's it. Because you ain't ready for what God is getting ready to do through me. And I cannot allow what's on you and what you're dealing with. So I can't I can't let you go right here in this compartment. And the Bible says, when they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw so much commotion. Mm -hmm. Everybody was crying, everybody weeping and wailing. And yeah. he went inside and he asked them, he said, Why all this commotion? Mm -hmm. Why y'all doing all this crying? Wow. He said, the child, catch this. The child isn't dead. Uh -huh. Come on. The child isn't dead. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Her earth suit is. The child isn't dead. Uh -huh. Absent from the body means yes, present with the Lord. Okay, so the part of her that was real, the part of her that was who she really was, wasn't dead. Uh -huh. He said the child. Uh -huh. Isn't dead. Uh -huh. She's only asleep. Come on now. Come on. Mm. Jesus. 
So, so this is what Jesus did, y'all. He spoke to that spirit and said, come back to the body. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> come back to the body. Yeah. Come back and get in your earth suit. Yes. Yes. My, my, my. my God. What did he say to us? Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater. Mm -hmm. We got to understand who we are. In Christ Jesus. Yes, yes. And so you understand Christ ain't his name, it's his title. Come on. That's right. Come on. The earth suit was named Jesus. You <laughs> All right. All right now. I'm, I'm getting ready to close. I'm getting ready to close. Keep rolling. The crowd, when he said that, started laughing at him. See, when you start walking in what we're teaching here, I'm going to tell you right now. When you start walking in what we're teaching right here, folk going to laugh and call you crazy. But I don't care what you call me. That's right. Because I'm going to stand on what God's word says. And God's word is true because he is not a man that he should lie. And if he said it, he meant it. Come on, come on. The reason why we're not walking in it is because we don't believe. God, I thank you. So, 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 let me close. So, the crowd started laughing, but he made them leave. He said, get out of here. And he took the girl's father and mother and his three disciples into the room where the girl was lying. And holding her hand, he said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, get up. Get up. Get up. Spirit. Come back in this body. Mm. It's not time for her to go yet. Mm. It's not time for this earth suit to leave here. Get up, get up. Go back in the body. And the Bible says the girl who was 12 years old immediately stood up and walked around. It says they were overwhelmed and totally amazed and Jesus gave them strict orders not to tell anyone what had happened. And then he told them, give us something to eat. <laughs> so you know this ain't no ghost. <laughs> so you know this is the real deal. Because she eating. My gosh. Thank you, Lord. Y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. When we get a hold of who we are, yes. as I told you last Sunday, if you want to see the church full, yeah. if you want to see a line outside the church and they can't get in here because there ain't no more room, start allowing God to work through you. Yes. 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 Because everywhere you see that Jesus laid hands or Jesus prayed or Jesus in his word or his disciples did the same thing, the Bible said the church grew by the the reason why folk don't want to have nothing to do with church today is because we got too much hell up in here. Too much fussing and fighting and backbiting instead of doing what God has asked us to do. It's time out for that. Yes. And I told you last Sunday, we have got to be concerned about the souls. Yes. But we're more concerned about the size of the church and yes. how many people in the pews and yes. how much money we're taking up in the time. Yes. If you believe God and trust God, he got you. Yes. Yes. God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. We have got to begin to understand it's about the souls. Yes. And allow God to use us mm. to go in the enemy's camp mm. so yes. that those souls that don't know him. Yes. Come on can come in here and be used to go back out and bring more folk in here that don't know him. Yes. As I told you last Sunday, when the church is growing in numbers, statistically it has been proven that it's because of church hoppers. It's not because of the newborn or new saints or reborn. It's because of church hoppers come on, come on. who got an attitude in the church they led. Yes. God, I thank you. There is no such thing as a perfect church. That's right. Because when you show up, you're going to mess it up anyway. Oh, God. God, I thank you, Lord. So
So we got to get our minds renewed. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to go, be transformed. Yes. By the renewal of your mind. Yes. So that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and what? Perfect. What I tell y'all the other day? What I tell y'all the other Sunday? What I tell y'all the other Sunday? See, folk will say, hmm, you think you know everything. You think you perfect. I am. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. This this part of me right here, this this real me, this true me, it's perfect. That's right. But what gets in the way of you seeing that perfection out here is that mind, that will, and that emotion. That's right. Good gracious. All right, I'm through. God, Jesus, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. I'm going to have y'all stand. I'm going to have y'all stand. I'll tell you what's the truth. i tell you what's the truth. God is so good. His word is so good, y'all. And it is amazing how when you get into his word, he breaks it down for you. And he begins to show you who you are. Show you who you are. So today, if you don't know Jesus, the Bible lets us know that if you've broken one of these you know, we can't put the whole Bible up here, so we put the Ten Commandments. So if you've broken one of those, you have broken them all. Uh-huh. And you need a Savior. Yeah. That's right. You need a Savior. Jesus is the only one. Yes. He's the only one that can save you. So if you're in here today and you don't know Jesus or you don't have a relationship with him, I'm going to just encourage you to receive him as your Lord. And if you don't have a relationship with him, I'm going to ask you to just bow your head. I'm going to say a prayer. All of us are going to say it together. You know, because I don't, I don't assume, just because you've been in church for years. We got a lot of folk in church, been in church for 20, 15 years and still ain't born again. Still ain't born again. So I, I'm not going to assume that you have a relationship just because you're occupying a seat in here. Amen. 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 So please close your eyes, bow your head, and just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. And I ask for your forgiveness. And I ask for your forgiveness. I confess and believe. I confess and believe that Jesus Christ is your son. That Jesus Christ is your son. That he came to this earth. That he came to this earth. Died on the cross. Died on the cross. Was buried. Was buried. And rose on the third day. And rose on the third day. I invite Jesus. I invite Jesus into my heart. Into my heart. And I ask you to use me. To use me. To your glory. To your glory. Based on John 3 16. Based on John 3 16. I believe I'm now sealed. I believe I'm now sealed. By your precious Holy Spirit. By your precious Holy Spirit. And will spend eternity. With you, with you in heaven. In, heaven. in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Please keep your heads bowed, eyes closed. If you're in here today and this is the first time you said a salvation prayer and you believe the day was the day that you said it in faith, you meant it, and this was it. Amen. All saved, born again. So if you're in here today and you don't have a church home, we welcome you to come and be a part of what we do here at The Harvest. We believe in going out. We believe in sharing. We believe in using our gifts. We believe in preaching Jesus and preaching him hard so simple that a child can understand it. Amen. Amen. Amen to God be the glory. Amen. Please touch the person beside you. If you don't like holding hands, touch their shoulder. Amen. To God be the glory. I'm going to ask you to pray for the person that you're touching. You don't have to know what's going on with them. Ask the Holy Spirit before you open your mouth to give you utterance, to guide you as to what you pray so that we can pray for one another. And throughout this week, I'm going to encourage you to continue to lift them up all throughout the week, trusting and believing that whoever's touching you is going to be praying for you as well. Amen. Father, we thank you right now for our life, health, and strength. We honor you. We magnify you. You are worthy to be praised. And we come before you right now believing that you exist. We believe, God, that those things that concern us also concern you because that's what your word says. And so, God, we bring things right now to you, Lord, and we just ask you to help us, Father. Help us in the midst of the situation. But, God, give us understanding and help us to understand that we have the power. 
You have given us the power. You said you've given us the power and you've given us authority, God. So we thank you right now that we can speak to that situation. We can command that situation. And so, God, we honor you in Jesus' name for that. We understand it's not us, but it's you in us doing it. And so we thank you, Lord. I pray, God, for everybody on the sound of my voice. And I speak to anything in here that has a name that is coming against your people. I speak to cancer. I speak to diabetes. I speak to high blood pressure. I speak to anything, Lord, that is not like you. Because by, the Bible says that your name is greater than any name, God. Yes. Unhappy. So, God, we thank you right now and command anything that has a name that's hindering, that it be moved. You are healed by Jesus' stripes. You are healed in Jesus' name. Yes. Be healed. Yes. Receive your healing today. In Jesus' name. From your head to your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 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 Give him the highest praise. Hallelujah, God. Believe that you have been healed. Believe that you have been healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. He's already died for it. Receive it. Receive it. It's yours. It's yours. Because of him. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. receive the healing in here today. Yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. God be the glory. The harvest, y'all. It's precious. The labor's a few. Will you come back? Bring someone with you. Confessions, y'all. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. For our guests, we actually have confessions that we have been doing every Sunday for weeks now. Mm. So we ask you to say them with us. All right. I am an ambassador. I am a kingdom citizen. My father is the king. My big brother is Jesus Christ. I'm a king's kid. I'm an heir. I am royalty. The creator of everything lives inside of me. He created me in his image. I am anointed and appointed. God made me a little more than himself. All right, parts to man. We are a spirit. Our spirit possesses a soul. In that soul is our mind, will, and emotions. And we live in a body or an earth suit. Our spirit is the part of us that's reborn. Our soul is the part that's renewed. Amen. 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 Have a blessed rest of the day. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You don't miss your water. <laughs> to the well, we'll, we'll run dry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>